And I'm sure this one's heavier because that's good. No, no, it's got that one's heavier. Yeah, that one's heavier. You think all the sugar's in the peel? So if we peel things, we got so I could just go out and take on the health apps and I'm peeling my orange for free. So if I, how many people eat an orange like this here? I, I, I don't care about health. I'm just just getting on. Okay, well we see. So what do we think? We think this is going to float, float, and that's going to sink. Okay, let's see. Yeah. 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 You share it. Okay, let's go. So this one floats and that one sinks. No, the no, one sinks. That one sinks. And this one. I just point to it. What? Why do you think this one floats even though it's heavier? What what might it have trapped inside it that helps it? Air. Air again. And we are actually naturally quite buoyant. I hope nobody goes onto this one pull and tell where it jumps in the deep end and go, well, I can't swim with that. This is rubbing together. Is there anything we could do to avoid the surfaces rubbing, to get rid of friction? If the surface is rubbing together and that causes friction, what could we do to... Lift them? Yeah. Wouldn't that be good? If we could make the surfaces not rub together, what could we put in between them? Air. Air, Air again. Do you know what? In today's show, if you don't know the answer to a question, it's a pretty safe bet if you say air, hasn't it? That's been the answer to a lot of questions, hasn't it? So if I say what's your name and you can't remember, just call yourself air. <laughs> okay, I need someone to blow up this balloon for me. Off you go, blow up that balloon. Here's the, you can make this at home if you want. Uh, do any of you drink fruit shoot? Yes. This is the lid of a fruit shoot and it's glued onto a CD, a DVD. This is a, this is a brilliant DVD. This won the Oscar in 2007. It's called Science Corridor Display. <laughs> so Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet, I think, oh, in there. Oh, like, oh, you must be loads of hot air. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this on top of the fruit shoot thing and I want to let it go and the air is going to push down under the CD and stop the two surfaces rubbing together which means there will be no friction and it will just float about the place. Three, two, one. It reminds you a wee bit about ice. I think, you know the, the air, air hockey? Wouldn't it remind you a wee bit of that? Uh, and all we've done is we have stopped the surfaces rubbing together by putting air between them so that the friction can't get a hold. Okay, so Sorry. 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 <laughs> okay, uh, so what we've got is we're going to put the alcohol gas. And the gas is going to build up like an air pressure, uh, so it's full of energy, but it can't go anywhere because the lid's going to be on. Um, and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it maybe eventually is even strong enough to crack the lid and start leaking out a wee bit. Okay, so if I put that on like that, put it upside down. Now, what's happening here is, if I put in the Alka-Seltzer tablet, people take Alka-Seltzer tablets for things. An oh, easy way of getting energy is to take something that has energy inside it and release the energy by burning it. Burning is a way of getting energy out of things like coal, oil, gas, candles. And um, what I want to show you now is, um, have I got the lighter there, Mr. Kerry? Um, yep. Um, I want to show you burning paper. Okay? So this is just, this is, we kind of end the show on this, this is fantastic, wait till you see this, this is amazing. Look at that, woo! Look at, hey, have you ever seen that before? Yes. Yes? yes. And the fire, it's fire. So you've seen fire before? On a show. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bit of an anti I can't believe it. I wasn't really banking on you having seen fire before, to be honest. I thought that would be a thing. That's going to end the show on that. Like, okay. Do you know what? I, I, I have nothing. I mean, you have a bullet my bullet. I'll try it one more. Are you sure you've seen Burnham Cooper before? <laughs> I want wet. Because it's not going to happen. I'm going to try it. <gasps>
That's not like burning my spillers. Are you sure you've seen burning paper before? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see which one this is. Oh my god! <laughs> released energy. It was burning, it released energy. Um, there's a very similar trick to that. Um, have you ever seen a teacher cry? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, you're only first year. Hopefully you've never been bold enough to make a teacher cry. But I can tell you this, if this next experiment was to go wrong, you will witness your first teacher cry. Because I want to take a five pound note and I'm going to set it on fire. Oh my god. Um, and parents, if this goes wrong, I'm going to be starving tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, so let's try this here. Okay, I'm going to put it in some alcohol to make sure it burns. Alcohol is what the fire brigade would call an accelerant. It helps things burn. Um, we just have to set the fire. And it's dropping stuff. Fiber. It's still there. It's still there. Thank God you're not going to see a teacher cry after all. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. So, you guys, we could do that. We're, uh, we're, I wouldn't advise you to try that one. Okay guys, I have one more thing. We're almost out of time. I have one more thing I want to show you. And again, it's releasing energy. Um, but in particular, this one is the type of energy they use to fire rockets. So, uh, ask the a balloon. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> a balloon. Wow. So if you don't mind, and I was just holding that balloon for me there. In a second. I don't want that. Oh, Mr. Lowe. Oh, no, no good. That's from yesterday. Not here. I'll give you a better one. Sorry. After all. No, no not good. Sorry. It's okay. I'll, I'll hold on to it. I'll hold it. All right, then. Give me that one. Okay, guys, not sure if this is going to work like I hoped. Uh, these were prepared yesterday and they seem to have lost a little bit of air, boy, I would say. But we'll give it a go. Where's your major stakes? Uh, you get one in the next door, sir. Okay, uh, it might be a wee bit louder. Right, like that there. Okay, it's going to be a, bit of, a wee bit of a pop here. Oh, it's not an ordinary bush. It's not a man brush brush. That's, a man. That's actually an elephant's toothbrush. What? <laughs> right? Because one of the jobs of a zookeeper, what they have to do? Brush, brush, an, teeth. brush an elephant's teeth. Now, if you've got a toothbrush, what do you need along with them? A toothpaste. So, could you imagine the oh, zookeeper in the morning going along with a wee tube of Colgate trying to do that? So, the zookeeper has to actually make the elephant's toothpaste. So he simply takes some of this stuff here, which is called uh, sodium hydroxide, sorry, hydrogen peroxide, you get the name right? Don't think you want to use sodium hydroxide. That's a whole different experiment. That's a whole different experiment. <laughs> so, the hydrogen peroxide goes. Now, some of you might actually work with hydrogen peroxide whenever you do leave school. Yes. If you're what? What would you be doing if you're working with hydrogen peroxide? A zookeeper? If you're a scientist. A hairdresser. What's a hairdresser doing with hydrogen peroxide? Dye hair. Dye. You dye hair. Okay. So guys, there we've got hydrogen peroxide. And toothpaste now girls, uh, you wanted to clean your teeth. So what you need to do, the zookeeper would put a wee bit, not much, a wee bit of fray liquid into it. Just to make sure that it dry, that it cleans their teeth. And then you might want to make it a wee bit stripy. So you put some colour onto it as well. Okay. And then, to make the toothpaste, all you do is we get some warm water. Take some of this stuff, which is yeast. Yeast? <laughs> yeast. Yeah, you use it. It's exactly right. You do use it to make it. You put the yeast. <laughs> 
The yeast goes into the, the warm water, girls. He stirs it up. Stirs and stirs and stirs and stirs. And then pours it in here. Yeah. Now, it takes a wee minute or two, girls. <laughs> you're standing here, I've got my toothbrush in the ready now, do you see? Don't brush your teeth. Now, it takes a wee minute for it to happen. It's a volcano. It's like a volcano. <laughs> but it's still working. It's producing all this toothpaste. And we're just waiting on it. It will get there, I hope. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Ten years later. Here we go. So you're ready with your oh, toothbrush no. and your toothpaste. And you eat your toothpaste for the elephant. <laughs> and you go along and you brush your elephant's teeth. Anyone want to try it? You're wasting time.